L'île Maurice se confirme aujourd'hui comme une véritable destination golfique. Après le sud, l'est, l'ouest, le nord a aujourd'hui son golf course international de 18 trous. Signé Peter Matkovic, ce golf va se distinguer de tous les autres et offrir encore plus de choix aux amateurs de la petite balle blanche. C'est le premier golf course de 18 championship du nord de l'île Maurice. Ce projet est sur 238 arpents de terre, se trouve entre Grand Bay et la plage publique de Montchoisy, donc très strategically located, comme on dit en anglais. Euh, le, le golf fait partie du Bigger Montchoisy, qui est le parc de Montchoisy, euh, où il y a un développement euh, énorme en ce moment, avec 210 unités de résidence en construction, 95% déjà vendues, avec les travaux d'infrastructure qui sont en cours au, au, et une bonne partie déjà terminée. Le projet a, a, a coûté, a, le, le, le projet global a coûté 8 milliards de roupies et a employé euh, durant la, le peak season, si vous voulez, up to 3000 personnes qui ont travaillé sur le site, sur les différents sites en construction. C'est un projet sustainable, on utilise au fait l'eau du Wastewater Authority qu'on achète euh, avec le Wastewater et euh, donc c est, c est, sans, sans le Wastewater, la contribution du Wastewater, ce projet ne serait pas là aujourd'hui. Vous savez, irriguer 236 arpents de terre euh, n'est pas, euh, pas donné dans le Nord. Euh, et au fait, c'est grâce à ça qu'on a pu concevoir le projet aujourd'hui à Montchoisy. Unbelievable moment. You know, as I mentioned, I came down the, the Flamboyant Avenue 14 years ago with Peter Makovic and he was like a little kid because he was coming to show me this golf course that he was going to build and never in my wildest dream did I think that 14 years later I'd be standing in this very place with this incredible backdrop and beautiful golf course behind us. So it's, it's a tremendously proud moment to be here. You know, it's, it's always hard to say what's unique other than it's the only 18-hole golf course in this part of the island. I, I guess Pete set out to do something different here. He, he wanted to He wanted to give people a taste of everything Mauritius has to offer. So he, he wanted you, when you played golf here, to see the mountains, to see a little bit of the sea, to see the islands, experience the natural vegetation, to, to, to touch on the family's history. You know, there's some holes here that have got uh, the chimney and the family's old houses, etc., really well displayed. And then, of course, he's used something totally unique, which people playing golf here will see, which is, it's a black waste rock sand, which has created this incredible contrast between black, green and white with the white bunkers. So I, I guess what, I, I, what we think people are going to do when they walk off this golf course is say, every single hole was memorable. You know, it, it, when they look back at their round, it's not like where was number 11 or where was number 15. They'll know exactly which hole was number 11 and number 15 because they're so unique. It's been set up to be very playable or a championship golf course. So we, we've got a number of tees on every single hole. I mean, some of our par threes have got 11 tees, in fact, on one, but nine to 11 tee, tee playing areas. So you can play a par three, for example, at 220 meters or at 80 or 90 meters. So we can set it up to be a lot of fun, but if we were ever to have like the Mauritius open here, we could set it up very difficult off the back.